Alright guys, so uh, next episode of Duck Chronicles, I know what you're thinking, this is like five minutes after the last episode, right? It's just raining, and it's not raining real hard right now, it's kind of just a light sprinkle, but it poured uh, earlier. But no, it's not five minutes later, it's, it's, it's five days. Uh, yesterday, actually, it didn't rain hardly at all. And the field dried up enough, they could have went out there yesterday, but then I would have had to drag them all the way back up here because it's supposed to rain pretty much all day today. We have a break right now, and it's still coming down. You can see there's standing water out there, and mud, and disgust, and nastiness everywhere. And uh, But Saturday, tomorrow, we're supposed to have no rain, and we're not supposed to have rain for several days. So tomorrow, you know, I'll find kind of the highest ground. That little patch right there is pretty good. And I'll get them out there and we'll start moving them around. It's supposed to rain on Wednesday, but if it's just uh, a, a simple rain shower Wednesday, we'll probably be able to work it out where they can stay out. They won't ever have to come up here and make me have to clean this up again, you know. Um, this is one day. And I'm doing everything I can. Somebody said, do you hang the edge over so that they can, they can use this water right here? Well, first of all, this is a drop of about four inches. So they would be able to escape if I did that. And to be honest, I wish they were ready for uh, free ranging out there, but they're just not. They're too little, uh, especially with all this rain and mud and muck, and uh, none of their training has started yet. So uh, that has to be done in a, a specific way so that we, we, we train them to go home every night. Uh, we train them to respond. We'll go through all that like we have before with you. Uh, but let's say I could. Let's say I could somehow wall this in and just overhang the, the butt out here in this uh, water. And one day, that would be the dankest, nastiest, septic tank-like, sludge, disgusting, disease-carrying grossness you could imagine. Um, it just doesn't work that way. That's why they're in a tractor in the first place. They have to be moved. And if you were, like, let's say you're going to move it this way. Well, you maybe get two moves, maybe three at the most between pillars. Um, and it's all going to go together. I mean, this, this is just stink for weeks and months. No, that's... That's not going to work. When we have them out there on the grass, they get in the morning they get moved one length, and then in the afternoon they get moved. So they're moving twice a day, and that's what's only ten little ducks. And uh, I'll show you what happens. I'm going to have to walk in the muck here with the uh, Crocs on. But uh, see, that's what happens if they get left a little too long. Dorothy had them there while I was gone, and they only got moved once. And that that's what they do to a spot if they have a whole day. So could you imagine if they had, you know, four or five days here? Plus, the other thing is, you notice they're set back. I don't have them right out the edge. I mean, for my personal convenience, I'd rather them be right out here, just inside the, the, the pillars so that I can slide them back and forth without having that be in the way. The reason I have them back here is we've had these heavy rains, and it's rains coming in like this on us so I put them far enough over so they don't have more water to make more of a mess because what's going on here is they're doing this on purpose guys this is what they want to do they like things nasty um, the problem is when they uh, when they get that way too much let's give them some water here let's get everybody excited act like they don't even have any other one but they're gonna immediately start not just drinking that water they're gonna splash it out and then they're gonna run over here and they're gonna get food. And they're gonna take the food back and they're gonna put it in the water. And then they're gonna make peanut butter out of the food. Because yeah, they like to, that's their thing. And they're gonna play and mess around with things. That one duck I think is infatuated with that string. Um, that's what they do. So I thought about, well, my little uh, drink catcher for the brooder really doesn't work well out here because they're just gonna knock these things off of it. And I do have to come out here about four or five times a day and give these guys more water because they're going through it like crazy. Partly because they're drinking a lot because they're eating a lot and they're growing. But part because of what they're doing right now. They make a mess. So half the water ends up on the ground. So that's what that big flower pot's doing over there. What I did, <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll take this and put that in there. And then I'll take a two and a half gallon poultry water, stainless steel, uh, galvanized metal one. And I'll stick it down in there. And that way when they make a mess, it'll all end up inside the pot lid thing. And they made the biggest mess they've ever made. Because they really quickly... See, they're, they're kind of idiots, but they're also kind of smart. I, I guess kind of like politicians. They're smart morons. And uh, 
they figured out really quick with that two gallon poultry water that if they pulled water, more kept coming, more kept coming. So they just pulled the water into there until they made it like a little pond and drained the two gallons into it as fast as they could. And then they spread it all over the place. And uh, I had to clean them up a little bit. I had to take some of them and spray them off with a hose and then let them preen themselves because they were like slathered across their breasts with, uh, with uh, food and poop. So this is the best solution we have for now. And like I said, the good news is one more day of this and we should be past it. Right now the swales are completely over capacity full. They're, they're running, you know, they're actually moving water right now uh, off the property. We, we, we long since passed full saturation. Everything's green. We got a second flush of growth. Um, but uh, it's enough. Yeah, I'm ready for this to stop. I, I, I really am. I, I, I've had enough. I don't want any more, uh, and hopefully the next time you see the ducks, they'll probably still be in the tractor, but they'll be out in the grass enjoying life. With that, on a Friday afternoon, we'll catch you later.